It's Friday, Fresh Cash Friday. Today, breaking down some trades, making in the options market with the SPY, the overall market. What is going on? It's all about making money, baby. Small gains every day add up quickly. I'm telling you that right now. If there's one thing that you listen to me about, it's one simple idea, my friends, and that is that small gains add up, right? Small gains. Let's get into it. All right, what's going on, guys? Right now, looking here at these options that I have on the overall market, I got some 441 call options. I'm looking to take some profit. I'm going to sell these bad boys right there. Uh, so getting sold there. So I'm out of those call options. And let's see if I can show you guys. So you can see today making $200 here trading options with only $1,500. Look at this thing now up to $1.40. Come on, let's go, baby. Let's go. You can see my trades right here as well. Buying the 439 call options this morning, that made me $100 on that one. And then buying the 441 call options. These were tricky. I'm gonna show you guys the chart here and why they are tricky. You can see now up to $1.41. I ended up buying in there around 77 cents when they were down in this level looking for that push through that 441 area on the SPY and look at it now just going nuts. I should have gave it a little bit more time, a little more patience, but it is Friday and I'll tell you one thing, there's nothing I hate more than having a red Friday. If I'm green, I'm gonna take it, right? And the worst thing you could do is have like a green day turn into a red day on a Friday. You know what I mean? Green day, red day, Friday, not a good thing. So you can see this morning, the SPY pushing up there to the 441 area right now on the 15 minute chart. I'll show you guys my first entry on this baby. So we had this big push up there to 441. Remember that was yesterday's close, yesterday's resistance. And guess what? We identified that just yesterday as well. I put this line on the chart, identified it from that previous resistance back there in March, the beginning of March, March 3rd, and now pushing up there 441. So if we go over here, we look at 15 minute chart, my entry was pretty simple. We had that push up to that resistance. We pulled back. At that point, I ended up buying the 439 call options. And you can see we had a push up there. I ended up getting out as we could not push above 441. We then pulled back to this level here, 440. The problem was we kept getting stuck at this level. Like hey, if you guys enjoy my content, do me one big favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you wanna learn more about interactive brokers, this is a broker that I'm using for trading options, for trading stocks, for trading crypto and all that fun stuff. They've got a free scanner right now you guys should check out. I'll put a link down below, Interactive Brokers. This candle right here, I did not like having that wick on the top of that candle. You can see the next candle did end up pushing through that resistance there, but just overall getting stuck there multiple times at that level. And I just was not in love with that idea of that 441 getting stuck. And obviously, like I said, I'm looking to take profit now and that's my big focus as a trader and that's one thing that i've learned as a trader as well is you got to take profit right you got to take these small profits sometimes you can hold and you can hope and you can pray and you can look for a thousand percent returns it happens you're going to have those days where you're going to make a lot of money and then you're going to have days where you just got to take those small gains those small gains and then they end up adding up and that's exactly what i did today so even though i was only taking small gains you know 20 30 dollars per options there on those call options, we still had, at the end of the day, we walked away with $200 in profit with only $1,500 in my account, in this account, trading options. And that's the great thing about this as well. I think a lot of people are confused. You know, when they think about options, they think you need, you need a ton of money. So like, for example, let's look at it like this. This morning, I bought these call options, these right here. Like you can buy for 67 cents, you could have bought these 441 call options that expire today. Now they're trading at $1.40. So that $67 that I invested, I could have sold that call option. Obviously I sold early, but you could be selling that call option right now for $1.40 for a 100% return. So you pay $60 and then you sell it for $140. I don't know about you guys, everybody out there who's trading the small caps, trading these low float stocks and all that, at the end of the day, this really is where the money is made here in the options market. And the thing about this is you don't only have to trade the options on the SPY. There's other stocks as well. You know, I mean, you could trade options on pretty much any of the top stocks, sometimes some of the mid cap stocks as well. 
but I do like trading the overall SPY because like I talked about it with a guy yesterday, we talked about this for a little bit. Uh, he was a fan of mine and watched my videos on YouTube and I talked to him at the gym about this idea that I personally like trading the SPY because I can look at this and I pretty much know yesterday, I knew that the market closed at 441. This morning we had a gap down, but guess what I knew right away? We had that gap down. I knew that 441 area was gonna be an important area to, to watch. We pushed up there, we pulled back. At that point, I'm thinking like, hey, this thing is looking very much like it wants to squeeze above 441. It, it, you know, it wants to happen, like it wants to go. When everybody else is bearish, everyone else is thinking the market's gonna crash, I'm sitting there thinking like, hey, this is very much wanting to push above this resistance. You can see the last few days here, the market just going nuts from the 416 area now up there to 441 right now on the SPY. So there's been a lot of opportunity to make money trading these options. And again, you don't need a ton of money to trade these options. I'm trading in this account with $1,500 and walking away with $200 in profit from that. So you're making a 15% return or yeah, about a 15% return on the money that I invested this morning in buying those options. And obviously right now, these options that I paid, you know, 60, 70, 80 cents for are trading at $1.50. So, you know, obviously I could have probably held on and made a lot more money on this trade. But like I said, I was looking at that resistance there, that 441 resistance kind of just holding it down multiple times. And obviously now, you know, looking back in hindsight, it's like, wow, yeah, yeah, you could have definitely held on to those for longer, definitely could have held on. But the one thing you can see is there was a lot of resistance here and I didn't want to get stuck, you know, holding this and then getting out for a loss later on. Like I said, it is Friday and I'm totally fine with taking green days on a Friday, baby. A green Friday is the best kind of Friday for me, baby. Nothing worse than spending the whole weekend sitting around thinking about how you lost money because you didn't take profit, right? That's the craziest thing to think about as a trader is not taking profit. Obviously, you got to have a plan. You got to have your strategies. You got to figure out kind of what's your risk to reward and make sure your reward is in line with your risk and all that. But some days it's just nice to take that profit and walk away green. So I've been having a lot of success lately trading options because I've found, you know, kind of my rhythm, my plan, getting in, getting out, taking profit, cutting off my losers, and really being strict on my rules and focusing on what I need to focus on to get to the next level and get to where I want to be. And that's what it comes down with trading is having a plan, having your rules and sticking to those rules, my friends. So there it is. We're having a green Friday. Hopefully you guys are all green as well. If you made a trade today, let me know in the comments below, what did you trade and how, how did it go? What was the setup and what was all that fun stuff? So let me know in the comments below. If you guys haven't already do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe button, all the buttons down below. I'll talk to you guys later on. Oh.